My dear friends in Christ, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me on this fourth Sunday of Advent. Our gospel passage is from Luke chapter 1, verses 39 to 44. And the theme is, Doing God's will brings us peace and joy. For those of us who have asked ourselves the question, What is God's will for me? Many will not receive, know, or even want to follow the answer. Why is that? It's because we have been given free will. We have the capacity to choose to obey or to ignore a command, a calling, or a request. We can decide to act in order to fulfill our own self-interest or to fulfill God's desire for us. So how do we respond to God's will for us? Do we say yes or no or wait? Let me pray about it first before I decide. Our answer would reveal our understanding of the question. And if it is a yes response, it would also show our agreement and willingness to accept what is being asked of us. But what has all of this got to do with our gospel passage? We know that before Mary had hurriedly left for the hill country to visit her cousin Elizabeth, God had made his request to her through the archangel Gabriel. God's will for Mary was too incredible to believe and impossible for any human being to achieve. What follows then is the meeting between the two cousins where we have the profound confirmation of Mary's earlier decision to accept God's will wholeheartedly. Mary's yes would be God's solution to our human alienation suffering, and earthly mortality. Indeed, her obedience opened heaven's door and pathway for us to return to God again. Her acceptance of God's plans reciprocated God's hand of friendship to humanity. But more than acceptance, it was an embrace of God's love and mercy. Elizabeth sums up this historic and salvific event with these words, Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And this is the very reason why we are grateful and can never thank Mother Mary enough. In doing God's will, she brings us profound peace and joy with the imminent coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to be born among us. And with that, I have two questions for reflection. The first is, what does doing God's will mean for me? The second is, how have I recently obeyed God or those who have authority over me, such as my parents or bosses? And let us pray the prayer of St. Ignatius. Dear Lord, teach me to be generous Teach me to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toy and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, save that of knowing that I do your most holy will. Amen. And so may I wish all of you also a very happy and blessed Christmas ahead of you. God bless all of you and Jesus loves you.